Today is going to be a big day, and speaking about big, this sword looks massive in this view. But the reason this day is going to be massive isn't my sword, it's because I think that I have enough knowledge to unlock some big things. That's a stack of shards, and then I have another nine here. I think my bottleneck... Is gonna be is not gonna be knowledge stars. It's either gonna be vault diamonds. Oh, which I only have 45 of. That's bad. And possibly Beniotite. Take the Beniotite and surround it with this. Yeah, I'm only I'm actually only able to do five. Oh, that's bad. That's not good, but let's let's craft them up. I was planning on unlocking refined storage. Oh, which cost four. Yep. We got arcade armor, and I don't know if I've actually talked about this in this series or in the last one, but a lot of mods in this mod pack grants you transmogs, so this one is the arcade helmet, and... <laughs> oh no, I can't tell if that is... <laughs> I look so stupid. Hold on, let me check the chest plate. Oh yeah, I know this chest plate. This chest plate I've used makes me look like a machine. I look like a, a vending machine. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm not going to keep this helmet. <laughs> it looks absolutely ridiculous. Back to this one. But as I was saying, a lot of mods in this mod pack grants transmogs. There are a, a ton of them to unlock and they are marked as the unique color. We have so many transmogs to unlock. Yeah, look at all of these. Some of them come from mods. Which is really cool. Now with that unlocked and the knowledge that I'm bottlenecked of vault diamonds, I guess that leaves me with one point, which I think is perfect because I did want to unlock elevators. Elevators are great. Elevator. Need some steel. Oh, and I don't have a sheep friend. Hmm. Well, that is unacceptable. Hello. Twenty new friends, and I've got some food for you. So now you're thirty, nice, and then lots of wool. Wow, <laughs> fifty-five wool. <laughs> and then I can craft. Well, I can craft four, but I'm gonna craft two of these. I have showcased elevators before, but I'm gonna do it again because they're awesome. They will let me travel vertically and with a massive distance up and down by just stepping on them, jumping, or shifting to go back down. They're a bit confusing, honestly. It's a bit confusing changing location that fast. But man, are they powerful. For now though, I can put the elevators away because I want to focus on refined storage, which is a digital storage system of doom. And I need this badly. However, there is a bit of crafting involved. I'm gonna need a controller and a grid. I'm also going to need a disk drive, probably some storage disks, and an external storage, as well as some cables to connect it all up together. Now there is a bit of crafting involved in this mod, but hopefully I can set up the basics. And actually, I did find a mod box. And these have been heavily buffed in like update 10, I think it was. So they're much better now. And if we get super lucky here, we'll get one of the items that we need. Uh, I would love to get a to get a grid, but that's probably hoping for too much. Let's see. Uh, it's not something that we need, but it's a stack upgrade, which these are expensive. That's a pog and a bunch of other things. Yeah, that's actually not bad. I should make... I should extend the monster and make a refined storage chest up here. I'll just put all of the refined stuff that I get in there. So crafting these components is a bit of a process. <laughs> there are a lot of nested recipes. Uh, but hopefully I don't run out of any base materials and I'm just gonna have to sit here and, and craft some things. Actually, do I not have any slime balls? I do have you, friend, but you are friend. And I don't think I have any actual balls. Ooh, look at this. Six chromatic steel ingots on the market. There's a, there's a pouch there as well, though. But yeah, it really does look like I have not got any slime balls. Which means I gotta go and get some. I think I went here in the beginning of the series to this tiny, tiny swamp. I guess I'll go back there. And I'm flying the wrong direction. <laughs> Great start. Aha. I am de-beaching. 
this swamp is so pathetic that <laughs> no, no slimes are spawning in. Oh, wait a minute. I think I saw a guy. Oh no, it's just a tiny friendly man. I'm sorry. I really need to get to the balls. That's only two balls. I need more. Oh, the sun is coming up. And <laughs> this, this swamp is just so pathetic. Come on, please give me a big boy. No, I don't want you skeletons. No! Oh, what an unsuccessful night. Two slime balls. I may have enough to set up the very basics, but the problem is I'm going to need to use a lot of this. I found another bottleneck. <laughs> I need redstone. I don't seem to have any redstone. That's crazy. And as much as I love and adore this chest monster's looks, it is so unpractical right now. Hello, Tony, my friendly stick man of doom. Give me all of those emeralds. Thank you. Family members are great. Fortune on that. And I made up a waystone so that I can find myself a nice little mining area and set it up as my mine. Actually, if I remember correctly, this led very far oh wow i haven't i haven't been here in so long i just that just rem i just remembered yeah this is this is not bad nice two stacks should be enough for now then what i can do is i can put my waist on here and deep caves <laughs> yep great great success Right, back to crafting, and now I should be able to make this thing. Then I need to turn one into this. Nice. I need to be very, very, very careful with my resources. I'm gonna need probably three of these. Yes, and they need to go on the smelter. Why is my bed purple, <laughs> by the way? That's kind of weird. Red. Oh no, you can't die it like that. Wait, can, I, can you not die beds at all? I knew that. It's fine. Actually, wait for it. Three blocks of velvet and three blocks of vault wood. Aha! The velvet bed. Get out of here, purple bed. Oh, <laughs> I got half a bed. There we go. <laughs> Look at the comfortable pillow. Nice. Much better. I'll throw you on the fire. Mmm. Cooked bed. <laughs> anyway, these are done, processors, and then I need to turn one with another vault diamonds. I'm so quickly running out of vault diamonds and then one of those, and, oh, I need to make the machine casing too, which requires, oh, that requires quartz. Yay, machine casing and controller! Woohoo! Achievement get. Now this thing does Nothing. I'm not joking. This does absolutely nothing for now, but it is the core, the heart, the brain of our refined storage system. So I am going to need it. And I did see that I already have some generators. I must have crafted these up. And that's good because I basically want to power this guy. It, it has a little bar and it's not durability. It's the power bar. Now I wonder, hmm, I guess I could make a little bit of a basement. Just temporarily. I mean, this entire base is temporary. Something like that, maybe. Oh, and I can use my elevators here. Woo! That's fantastic. So I could place one right here and another one. Actually, I could go down a little bit further then. And down to this level. Then I can install a nice roof like that. Aha! That looks a bit weird. Pretty sure, though, I can do this. Yeah! Hidden elevator. To make it even more confusing. I'm going to need a little bit of a light down here as well. There. <laughs> this is where my refined storage is going to be sitting, I think. And I need to do that without any fancy power cables. So, maybe I can do something like this. If I put this here. And then one generator there, one there, and one there. <laughs> yeah, then I can have a cable on the top of it, which I'm going to need. Okay, so... If I take some coal, go back down here, and then these are just like furnaces. So if I put some in here, that's 16 per tick. Oh, this is going to be plenty for a start, for a starting system then. Great. It's booting up. So the next important thing for me to make is a grid, and then I think an external storage. Because with an external storage, I can plug the monster in. But without a grid, I can't see anything. So I definitely need one of these. And... 
I might... I might have enough for that. Or actually, am I... Am I already out of the binding things? The slime things? No! No, 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 no! Imagine being gated behind the slimes and not the pogs. <laughs> well, I guess that means that I need to go back to the... No! You know what? I'm not gonna go back to the pathetic slime island. It sucks. <laughs> I'm gonna find a better slime island swamp. The world generation can't keep up with my flight speed. And I'm terrified of flying into something I can't see. But I think I'm over the sea, actually. Oh! Oh! Aha! A less pathetic... Well, hopefully, yeah. It's a less pathetic swamp. Actually, it's a massive swamp. This is good. I saw you! Hello, friend! Please give me all of your balls. Sheep, excuse me. Oh, this is great. This is absolutely great. 25 balls! That slime was ballsy. <laughs> Sir. I got 62 balls. I think I'm good. Uh-oh. Woo! That creeper is so confused. Uh-oh. No, you don't. No, you don't. Tony, I got you back. I got you back, Tony. Right, back to crafting. I've got two ball diamonds to my name. Hopefully I can do this grid. One more Laramar and a Pog. And I have got a grid! Yay! A computer! Woo! And this does absolutely nothing. <laughs> until, until I plugged everything in. Which is the next step, I suppose. External storage. Oh, it's gonna need... Wait a minute. It's gonna need one of those. Okay, I think I can afford that. One of these, which I do have one vault diamond. One left, and then one of these. I may be able to do this, actually. Three of these, and then I'm out of redstone. Again. <laughs> I am so very poor. Okay, here we go. One, two, three, and then cook these up. Oh, and then I need an interface. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. Why did I not realize the interface in the very middle? <laughs> That's... Yeah, I need more vault diamond. However, I got an ace up my sleeve. I still have this crystal, which is gonna increase the gilded chest inside a vault, which is great because vault diamond, these guys drop from gilded chests. So I guess that means it is time to vault. Well, I gotta get ready first. <laughs> I gotta get all my stuff. And one important preparation is to eat up a healthy amount of sweets. Before going in. There we go. I love these things. <laughs> They're so satisfying. I think I have everything. Yep. I think it's time to go. And this time I'm wearing both a chest plate and a helmet. <laughs> Ooh, and it's a scav, but it has draining, which means that I have less mana regeneration. I was going to focus only on gilded chests, but it's hard to say no to a scav. And this looks, this looks very doable, actually. And actually, one good thing here is that vault diamonds also appear in wooden chests, although at a much lower rate. So it might not be a bad idea to loot the wooden chests as well. Oh no! You know what? I did forget something! I forgot my scav bag! Oh, that's gonna make things awful. Yeah, that's gonna make things absolutely awful. I knew there was something. I felt it just as I went in. Well, I guess that means a bit of inventory management is gonna have to happen during this run. This, I believe, is an ore room. Yes! I do need those skeleton wishbones and it's always good to mine some ores. There's one. Ooh, Apolline. Oh, and there's two. Perfect. And I can turn them right in. Brilliant. Actually, how many rip pages? I got two rip pages. I guess I'll turn those in two. And three black mob essence. Look, I'm almost I'm almost completing the scab already. Oh! That was a trinket! That, and I haven't picked it up because my inventory is messed up. Hold on. That's crazy! That is so lucky! What? That's an incredible fight. They are very rare. Trinkets are very, very, very rare. That was so lucky. I'm I'm really happy now. I haven't seen a single gilded chest though, but I don't I don't really care, to be honest. Getting a trinket like that. Wow. 
Oh, and here is a gilded chest. And he, yeah, one vault diamond and two vault diamonds. Let me hand in these and then I do need one more rip page. So I'll keep it in my inventory as a little bit of a filter. Still can't believe I got a trinket. That's crazy. Oh, there are more gilded chests. This room is great. Two more vault diamonds. Ouch. Ouch. Sir. It's fight and poison. Not nice. I got him. Look at all these gilded chests. That's not a single one. Nothing? No? <laughs> Got a couple of goblets though. They are very rare. Aha, there's my last rip page. Okay, and a vault diamond. Nice, two vault diamonds. Wow. Okay, so now I could complete the scav, but now it's all about finding loot. Champion! Ooh, got a magnet from him. And... Oh! A lost bounty! <laughs> That's lucky, I almost, almost missed that. Wow, the things I'm getting in this vault is just incredible. One and a half minute remaining. I think I'm, I think I'm happy. I don't know at all how well I've done with Vault Diamonds, but I think I got a healthy amount and enough to progress further. So, it's time for me to go home. This has been an absolutely incredible vault in terms of loot. I can't believe I got both a trinket and a lost bounty. Like these are, these are mega drops. G, G, 168 chests with 57 ores and 27 coin piles, 21,000 experience, and I looted 28 gilded chests. Let's give the machine all of this um, unfortunate um, stuff because I forgot my backpack. <laughs> yeah, and I completed it as well. I mean, not even, not even like trying to. It was just an easy scab. Hello there. I am so excited about this trinket. I'm going to put it in here. And I'll put the Lost Bounty here. We'll do that last. And I guess first things first. Let's have a look in my backpack. I got 31. 31 Vault Diamonds. I'm, I'm happy with that. Oh, and I also picked up two key pieces. Yeah, as I say, this run was quite incredible in terms of the loot. I also got 14 Apolline Gems. <laughs> and, uh... Five jewels, I thought I would have got more, but let's see. That's a keeper, that's probably a, a smelter, that's a keeper. I will keep that, and I'll keep that. Okay, not bad. Before I identify the gear, though, let's put the crate. Ooh, oh, but it's an axe. I am not a big fan of axes <laughs> in general. They're not great. Anyway, let me put these down here and take this off my bum. That's three platinum for completing the scav. A lemon is great. That's that's pretty good. These, no, they can be smelted. That can be smelted. And that can be smelted. Okay, I'll keep the vanilla immortality one. That's a lot of gear pieces. Axe seven transmog unlocked. <laughs> Anything special? Oh, oh, but a new transmog. The fox transmog. This. Yeah, this transmog is amazing! I might actually... Yeah, I might actually swap to that transmog. What about the helmet itself? I just got excited about the model. No, I like my helmet more. Okay, and there's the Epic Plus Axe. Um, a pretty good boots and probably a decent axe, but I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna recycle them all so I can craft more things later when I need it. But I am going to celebrate by changing this into the fox because it is absolutely adorable <laughs> hello i'm a fox man now foxy now let's identify the trinket and activate the lost bounty bounty first right click on here and we get this legendary bounty and this one needs us to submit 61 block of amethyst oh so we can actually do this in the overworld and it gives us rare boots because it's a faceted focus a super uh, catalyst for gilded Poison Cloud, and two Super Catalysts for Nate, as well as 13,000 experience. I've seen better Lost Bounties than this, but this is not bad, specifically since it's just a matter of submitting some blocks. Which, actually... Yep, 
Just a moment. Here you go. Thank you very much. Time for that trinket. There are so many good ones that I could get. The wings, for example, would be amazing. That's the gluttony pendant. Uh, probably the worst one that I could have got, I think. This allows you to instantly eat something when you're hungry. Uh, it also allows you to drink vault potions very, very quick. So it's good for that. But for my case, or in my case, yeah, not great. That's okay, because the good thing is, is that when you identify one of these, uh, you have a higher chance of discovering a new one when you identify the next one. So uh, it, it will sit on a shelf showing the tongue <laughs> to me. <laughs> the bounty crate with a rare pair of boots. Monk boots. Eight armor. Ooh, wait, have I... Oh, I've hit a new armor tier on level 27. Hmm... I might actually roll these because they do have a higher critical hit resistance than the current ones I have and higher armor. So if I could get something... Oh, that's actually pretty good. <laughs> that's pretty good. But mine has so much health and resistance. Ooh, that might be better though than what I have. Let me have a look at the defense. 43. Yep, that's, that would be an upgrade. You know what? I'm gonna do the modifier workbench quest now because then I could craft on uh, a suffix onto these. Workbench, need an anvil, and then an artisan station, and upgrade it to a modifier workbench. Nice, quest complete, beautiful. And this can live right here. And for those of you who don't know, any vault gear item can have a crafted affix on it. So a prefix or a suffix. Only one, as you level up, you unlock higher tiers of them. And as you get past, I think, like level 50 or 60, you need to find these or unlock them permanently inside the vault. But for now, what do I want to craft on him? Maybe healing efficiency, actually. Mine has... Oh, mine has trap disarm. Maybe I go item quantity, actually. So I need a few of these and then a little bit of gold. Quantity. What did I get? 7%. Could have got 8, but 7% is good enough. All right. And then what I can do is I can add the last one randomly. And hopefully I get like trapped disarm, that would be perfect. Soul chance is okay as well. Doni, I need a tiny bit more emeralds, sir. Here are some sticks, I know you love them. <laughs> Weirdo. Depth strider, feather falling, and unbreaking. Yep. And with that, back to crafting. A set of cables. I need to make one importer and an exporter. And then a machine case. And all of these comes together to make my interface. Nice, which means that I can now, well... Now I need a bunch more things, okay. You know what, I might actually have enough. Let's see, one of you and one of you. And, aha, external storage. Nice. With my external storage, I gotta move this trim block to here so that I can access this from underneath. And then, ooh, this works out perfectly actually. Then I'll connect the external storage there and I'm gonna right click and raise the priority so that the system tries to put things in the drawers first before anything else. And then it's just a question of plugging this up. Nice. And now if I put my computer in place anywhere in the network, I should be able to, yes, browse all the stuff that's in my drawers. Woo, some organization in the monster. Corner computer. <laughs> Maybe that's actually a good interim solution until I have expanded my chest monster, which is something I really need to do. But how does one extend something this perfect? Hmm. Extending the monster is a good idea because things get lost in the monster at the moment. Look at this. I just found out that I have a ton of chromatic iron just laying around. All I gotta do is wait for this to cook up and actually... I, I hate cooking things up. I really dislike cooking things up. It's great for now because I'm going to need it. But I think I'm going to reinvest some of that chromatic iron and make a new overworld tool. A tool that can smelt things automatically. Pickaxe base. A chromatic steel pick, which is the highest one I can make at the moment. That in the applicator with these two jewels that makes it into a paxel. And I want my smelting jewel in there. And then I guess just 
any mining speed is going to be helpful. <laughs> and I only have two of these, so I'll put those in. Do I have any better ones in here? No. I mean, that's a good start. I still have some capacity left so that I can add things later. That is a new overworld tool. Oh, wait. What am I doing? I completely forgot that I wanted to add vanilla immortality so that it becomes unbreaky, unbreakable in the overworld. I don't have any omega good ones though. I guess that one is now pretty good. Yeah, I mean that's 14% less damage taken. I can continue and work on it. I still have 49 capacity. But a smelting tool is amazing because it smelts things, including wood into charcoal, sand into glass, and ores into ingots. That's so satisfying. That's so satisfying. That's after it applies fortune, by the way. Oh, I love it. I absolutely love it. My inventory is uh, an absolute mess, though. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. That vein was nearly five stacks of chromatic. Actually, it would have been five stacks of chromatic if I would have smelted the first blocks that I broke. Yep. That's that's great. Sorry, Furnace, but you just yeah, you're just not great, are you? <laughs> I am going to put a red rune on my new smelter. Maybe I call it Melter. <laughs> now I'm in a bit of a predicament. You see, on one hand, I would need to double the monster in size, but on the other hand. I love the monster the way it is right now, and also, this is supposed to be a monster, which is a start base storage system. And I am planning on moving away from, from Fort Hill Camp and moving into a, a, a bigger, more organized base. But the monster has also lost function because of the fact that I'm running out of space in these chests, and it's just... It's just, it's just a mess. So I guess what I gotta decide is, do I do the clean now? Do I shovel things under the carpet for now? Or do I do nothing? Hmm. I don't use this big boy chest in the background. And yeah, maybe I should. <laughs> that would be, that would be shoveling things under the carpet. Which I quite like, honestly. Because if I'm gonna start building my new base soon, TM, then I don't want to change this all too much. I guess the big question is, can I afford another one of these super expensive external storages and some cables? Because that's what I would need. I'm completely out of chromatic steel, okay. But I do have I do have a healthy amount of chromatic iron and I do have a healthy amount of carbon. I think it's going to come down to this. 32 ingots. I also need a redstone, which... No, I definitely don't have enough of. Okay, I I'll go. I'll go get some redstone in the deep caves. I don't mind that. Oh my goodness, there are so many cobwebs here. That's great for when the altar asks for it. Oh, hello there, skeleton spawner, eh? Oh no, it's, it's a spider spawner. Okay, goodbye. Is that another dungeon? Yep, zombie one, I presume. Don't want a saddle. <laughs> no, I don't really want the saddle. <laughs> Bye. Hello? Don't you dare poison me. <laughs> Caving in Vault Hunters after you get like a bit of uh, vault gear and stuff is really fun because you're very powerful. 15 bone blocks. I'll take that. To be honest though, I've probably got some way more redstone that I need to craft up my thing. But it's just exciting. It's just exciting to do a bit of caving. You're so powerful. There's some more. Hey, check this out. Check this out. Mm. <laughs> Garbage dump 2000. Ooh. I, I think that marks the end of my journey for now. I'll get some more of these. And oh, there's a little bit more there. Magnet. Thank you. Right. Uh, oh, for goodness sake. Goodbye, Iron. Right, time to head home. Home sweet home with a healthy amount of uh, stuff. And with that, let's see if I can craft up another external storage device unit. Interface and external storage. The recipe is awful, but I did it. So all I gotta do now is, <laughs> oops, I forget I use my smelting thing. Uh, did I not install one of these? Input. I just destroyed all of this. <laughs> I destroy you too. Is it satisfying to get charcoal? Did I not? 
add one of these interface blocks to this chest. Hmm, if I break that, that's the opening thing. Okay, so I'm gonna need an interface block. Easy enough. There we go. Let's put it hidden in the middle. Nice. <laughs> it's gonna get a little black square, and that is where I can put the external storage. The priority of this needs to be lower than the drawers, so I think it's fine to stay on zero so that everything goes into the drawers first. Hello? Yes, perfect. And I just run a cable up to it. Aha! Now, in theory, I should be able to dump anything into the computer, although it's run out of power. Uh, let's put that in there and that in here. This brain can also tell me how much FE per tick I'm using. 14. And we know that these produce 16 each. So powering two is enough to keep it online. And yeah, as I say, I should be able to just dump stuff in here. Nice. And anything that's not in drawers is going to end up here. Yes. That is sweeping stuff under the rug, if I ever saw it. Now, the plan is to store a lot of these bulk items in drawers, because otherwise they will fill up the, the, the massive chest ra really rather quickly. But I do need a little bit of real estate. I think I'm going to break this, which reveals a space for more drawers, actually. Three of these, and lock them with my keys. And then that could be for, like, everything, like cobblestone... Dirt, sand, diorite and granite, I guess. <laughs> andersite? That is a very hidden andersite. <laughs> Can remove another chest. Oh, <laughs> what have I done here then? <laughs> it's a little bit of a sweeping under the rug has occurred earlier in the, <laughs> in the monster. It is so satisfying to clean things up in Minecraft in your base. Aha! I could actually sneak another few drawers in at the bottom here and then hide it with a custom built desk. And I would like them to be compacting drawers, which mm, they're quite expensive, but I may be able to afford them. It's one of those things that's a great investment for saving space and making things more convenient. Oh, I can make 10 of them. Hmm. Let's start with th six. <laughs> Turn them into framed ones. Oh. <laughs> I love you, Smelter, but that was not the work for you, was it? <laughs> believe the design I went with was this. Yep, looks correct to me. And then you go there. Oh, and then I should probably move this thing, the controller. Put it down here instead, and then move this to there. Reset the priority. And that allows me to change these out for frame drawers as well, or uh, compacting drawers. And hopefully that means that everything is still connected, although the system has run out of gas once again. Now this is going to be a little bit of an a nuisance. Booting up. Yeah, that's connected. Great. So with this, I'm going to store Lermar, Beniotite, Hainite, Black Opal, Vutodai. And redstone? <laughs> that may seem a little bit odd, but the reason I've done this is because for crafting, I'm gonna need all versions of these gems, with the exception of Vutodai. And so now they automatically compact into the extraordinary Laramar, and that, that just helps so much when crafting big crafts. I'm very happy with this, <laughs> but but this this area looks very ugly. I wanna fix that. I love it. My nice computer setup taxes all of my stuff. There's only one thing missing, and for that, I'm gonna need a camera. This thing here. And by shift right clicking, I can upload an image like that. And during the first season of Vault Hunters, a lot of people made me posters for my gym base. I love them. And I intend to reuse some of them. Uh, this one is made from, if I mark this correctly, this one, which I absolutely love, is made by Block Drop Art. So if you're still hanging out on the channel, thank you so much for it. I could put it there. Oh, that's nice. That's a nice touch. I might want to add more of these as I go. Okay, so with that, I have managed to successfully sweep stuff under the rug while the monster absolutely it actually got more monsterious but it got smart with a little desk and a little computer setup 
I love it. I, I think this is <laughs> this is great. <laughs> this is this this is the smartest chess monster that I've ever I've ever had. Hello, Iskal. <laughs> the smartest chess monster that I've ever had. We are very much out of video time though, so that's gonna do for today. How do I look here? <laughs> I look like a real gamer. Yeah, that's gonna do for today. I really do hope that you have enjoyed this episode. If you did, please do hit the like button down below. And if you're brand new, consider subscribing, and I will see you in the next episode. <laughs> Wait, I gotta try something real stupid. <laughs> Oh no, <laughs> perspective is wrong, <laughs> but that is, oh, that's Inception, that's so weird, that's so weird, <laughs> I'm playing Vault Hunters.